it's not be picky about what I'm doing. So uh, I'll have a walkthrough on the engine and everything we're waiting for. And I think I know what I have to do now. I have to order a new bolt, M14, uh, 12.29, 12 one of those hard ones, because the other ones are really hard and with the fine metric threads. Also the bushings for the um, generator. This one will do, we'll do it later. Back here, we're waiting for the, have to order the, the bearing, C's. So I have a strong belief that on Monday, which is tomorrow, I will get the bearing and the bolts, bolt. There is a huge difference on the oil pans. There is like a flat surface there, not on that one. It's further ahead here, straight. Looks completely different. I believe that I have to get that oil pan on that engine. That one is full of oil. And I'm actually a little bit curious because I believe that it's the rod bearings that are short, at least one. So let's get this one elevated and uh, get the oil pan off. Can you see the blue silicone? Oh, it's actually me. Ah, we need a new gasket also. <laughs> ah, the list keeps growing. Order this, order that, order more. Ladies and gentlemen, we have movement. Sounds changed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your stuff. There shouldn't be any stuff down there. Oh my god. That's a big stuff. That one is moving sideways anyway. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, two out of six. That's not that bad. But yeah. It's short. We'll be fine. We need a new manifolds, getting the oil pan over, finding a solution for the dipstick, and we're golden. Okay, 
middle of the week, I've got my M14 140 mil fine threaded ATEC in Aeslov. They actually <laughs> had it on stock, so no waiting time. And uh, I got the bearing 6204 Swedish quality bearing made in France, <laughs> but still. Um, so let's get those two parts mounted. from the from the lid or from the housing and um, just to be able to to center the, the clutch in a good way completely new and beautiful flywheel no burnt spots no nothing centered and I'm gonna clean the pressure plate it's also brand new <laughs> the state of these ones So maybe call it a quits and um, get some proper new bolts also, so I don't put it back with, with rusty stuff. Cool, so let's wait for some new bolts. If I could get the M14 1.5 pitch, 140 long in one day. I'm sure can get these M8 29 Newton meters. Really good with gloves, so you don't get that dirty. People often say that they don't really have the, the same feeling working with gloves, but I can't see what they mean. <laughs> back at it so the um, issue with the manifolds was real manifolds that will fit in the cab are in the mail on the way 
had some really really good help from both David and Frank friends from uh, Sweden off-road tour and um, Germans thanks a lot guys and uh, so what's happening here today the idea is to get the oil pan off the oil pan is not clean yet we have the old manifold we need to get the turbo off this one we also need to get a new uh, pressure line and um, I'm starting to lubricate the bolts hopefully we can get it off there's actually really cool stuff with the um, with this, I have a, um, a Nissan uh, S13. So, again, a really, really quick um, Google found that the, the Garrett 3076 uh, was a quite good option for getting more power in the low and mid range of the OM366 and this is actually a ball bearing turbo also so it will spool up really really quickly if the if the housing is is correct for the diesel I don't know but I have another turbo to put on it maybe not now Let's let's get it to a rolling project. That's really nice. There's no engine parts in the oil pan. <laughs> Check it out. Really good, good, good. Check that. Ooh. So we'll pick up going straight down. But I think that the pump looks exactly the same. We'll pick up looking the same with a plastic rubber thingy here that's the same contact face is a little bit smaller but looks right okay so this is the oil pickup it's full of metal flakes so I guess I found my bearing or bearings because it's actually two of the rods and here we're washing washing the pickup it's also metal parts get it really clean and uh, in the end uh, we uh, dry it up with uh, compressed air and here we have the oil pan washed I'm confident that there is no metal shavings, no nothing in this one. Super. Still have some uh, gasket left. So let's clean it off with a wire brush. I'll dry it off, get it nice and dry. A lot of things have arrived today, but this one is from mod parts in, uh, in Germany so I took a, a complete uh, head gasket kit to get the manifold so this is the 12 volt starter oh. <laughs> oh look at that <laughs> brand spanking new Ordered on Autodoc, 
this should be the, the gaskets for the turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copper nuts, uh, gaskets. Yep. And even the studs. This is nice. This is all I need for getting the turbo mounted. I believe this is uh, the rubbers for the engine mount from Sasha Fritz Mechatronics. It's actually been a little bit of delivery time on these ones. Like a bit over a month. This one has to be forced into that small hole. This is actually something that I never bought before. If you have an MB truck on the bill, you know that you have bought the right stuff. <laughs> Aluminum cast uh, intake manifold. Machined, looking nice. <laughs> Exhaust manifold. <laughs> wow. We got stuff to do. <laughs> Just backtracking the silicone I removed from the old gaskets. Sort of trying to do the same. Let's see. No oil in it. Same thing. 